Lollipop 5.1. Mmm. Try it, Bowie. It's really good. Lollipop 5.1. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, this guy. Hi, right, folks. That's on HanaAndrew.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, about 24 hours ago, Android 5.1 was just released for a couple Nexus devices like Nexus 5, Nexus 10, and the original Nexus 7. That's the original version. Now, all the other Nexuses will get Android 5.1 probably later this week. It's rolling out, or by the time you see this video, it might be out. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update uh, your Nexus device, it doesn't really matter if you have 4, 5, 6, 7, or 10, or 9. The process is exactly the same, um, so even your firmware is not out yet. Uh, when it comes out, you can go ahead and follow this tutorial and update to 5 point right away. And also another note, there will be rooted uh, stock ROM versions, usually a couple days or about a week after the official firmware is out. So if you don't want to bother, you can go ahead and wait a little bit more for that. But if you're impatient like me and you must have Android 5.1 before midnight because you're a Cinderella, then we can go ahead and install it manually and enjoy it like right now. So if you're ready to do this, let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right, step one. First thing you want to do is power off your Nexus device and then hold down volume down and power. And this will get you into this mode called fast boot. And you're going to go ahead and connect the micro USB cable uh, to your computer. This is the same for all the Nexus devices. The only device that's different that I've seen uh, is the Nexus 10. Nexus 10 is actually volume up and down and power. There we go. And then go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. But all the other Nexus devices should be like the Nexus 5. And I'll be using the Nexus 5, but I'll be using the Nexus 5 for this tutorial. And I'll point out where you have to type the different stuff. All right, next let's go ahead and go to our computer. You can use a Windows, a Mac, or Linux. I'll be using a Windows 64 bit here, but you can go ahead and use a Mac or Linux. I'll also have the commands you have to type on my website. All right, step two, go to my site, highonandroid.com, go to Android 5.1 Nexus firmware, and you'll have all the firmwares listed here. Also, you can go ahead and download it straight from Google site, but I've organized here, um, so it's easy to find. As of this video, there is only firmware for Nexus 5, Nexus 7 original, and Nexus 10, uh, but by the time you see this video, there may be a firmware for all of your Nexus devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Nexus uh, for the Nexus 5 and go ahead and go down to download here and go ahead and enter the captcha down here uh, and uh, hit the download link and it will download. All right, once the file has been downloaded, uh, it should be in your downloads folder. For, for me, it says uh, hammerhead blah blah dot tgz. It might say uh, Man Ray or Nakasi depending on your Nexus device. Leave that alone uh, and then go ahead and download uh, fastboot.zip. Go ahead and double up. Oh, Go ahead and double click on fastboot.zip and uh, extract all files. And go ahead and extract the downloads uh, fastboot folder. I already did this, so I'm not going to do this again. But uh, there should be a new folder called fastboot in your uh, downloads directory. This has all the files you need for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Now, going back to the firmware you downloaded, you'll need to uh, extract the files here. For Mac or Linux, the top .tgz file here uh, will uh, extract easily. Go ahead and double click on it. If you're using Windows, go ahead and download 7-zip and go ahead and unzip it. All right, you should get a folder called Hammerhead, uh, blah, blah, or whatever you named it for Nexus 10, it might be Manta Ray. All right, go into the folder. There should be another folder. Inside, it has all the files you need, all right? And you also need to extract some files out of it. Um, go ahead and double click on the zip file and go ahead and select the boot and system uh, IMG do a copy and cop uh, go back to the previous folder and go ahead and paste it all right this will extract the boot image and the system this way we don't reinstall the uh, stock recovery if you have twerp or clock mark recovery you probably want to keep that so that's why we really just need uh, the boot boot and the system IMG so select uh, using the control key on your keyboard. Um, go ahead and select, hold that down, and select boot, bootloader, blah, blah, dot AMG. 
Um, also radio blah blah dot img and system dot img. If you don't have radio, sometimes the firmware files don't have it. Um, don't worry about it. Just select the three files. All right. Do a right click copy, and we're gonna go ahead and go back to our fast boot folder, and we're gonna do right click paste. All right, the hard part is done, so don't worry. All right, if you're using Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and skip the driver part. Uh, but if you're using Windows, make sure your drivers installed. So go ahead and go into Control Panel, uh, Hardware and Sound, and go into Device Manager. Now you should see some kind of Android ADB interface. If you don't see it, um, you should see something like Android with uh, exclamation mark or Nexus 10, Nexus 5, whatever device you're using. We'll go ahead and update the drivers. Um, so go ahead and double click on that uh, Android or Nexus device. Go ahead and hit update driver. Uh, browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of drivers. Uh, hit show all devices. And also go ahead and download uh, the Android USB drivers. It's the same for all the Nexus devices. Uh, and uh, next we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and unzip the USB drivers you download it. I'll have the instructions on my site. All right, next go ahead and browse to the US driver folder. You should have downloaded it and select Android underscore USB dot inf. Hit OK, hit OK. Go ahead and select Android ADB interface. Hit next. And don't worry about the warning, say yes. And close, close. And you should have something called Android ADB interface. Don't worry about the Samsung thing. I installed Samsung drivers and that will show up. All right, open up a command prompt. If you're using Windows to do that, go to uh, start search, type uh, CMD, all right, and hit enter. If you're using a uh, Mac or Linux, uh, go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go into this directory. So we're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter. And then we're gonna go ahead and type CD fastboot, enter. All right, we're in the fastboot directory. We're in this directory, guys, all right? Next, the first thing we're gonna do is install the bootloader. So go ahead and type fastboot space flash space bootloader space bootloader. And then if you're too lazy, you're supposed to actually fill out the file name here. If you're too lazy to do that, just type bootloader and hit the tab key and hit enter. And this will flash the latest Android 5.1 bootloaders. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot. Uh, also, Mac or Linux users, the commands are different. Uh, slight, oh, it's almost the same, but slightly different. So go ahead and look at my site for the appropriate uh, alternative code that you're supposed to type here. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot space uh, reboot dash boot loader. All right, and this will reboot the bootloader on your Nexus device. All right, so when you hear that click again, or when your device reboots, go ahead and type fastboot space flash space. Next, we're gonna go ahead and flash uh, the radio. If you don't have radio file, you can st skip this step. I'll go ahead and type radio space radio, and then hit the tab key again without the space, and hit enter. And that will flash the radio. All right, next we don't we feel too lazy, so we're gonna go ahead and use the arrow key hit up twice and it will say fastboot reboot bootloader, hit enter, that will reboot the bootloader. The reason why we do it that is that to clear out the cache and uh, this will make sure we get a clean flash. Next, we're gonna go ahead and type fastboot space flash space boot space boot.img. This will flash the kernel. Boot.img usually stands for the kernel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that again, cheat and fastboot reboot dash bootloader. And next, we're going to go ahead and type the last thing, fastboot space flash space system, space system.img. All right. This will flash all of the Android 5.1 uh, system files. And you don't need all that other stuff, the user data cache and stuff that was in the zip file uh, Google gave us. This is the only thing we actually really need. And also, by not flashing recovery again, you will have Twerp or Clockmile recovery still on your uh, phone. But this method does erase everything on your phone uh, or your tablet, so be aware of that. And when this is done, we're gonna go ahead and simply reboot. Uh, and you may have to do a complete factory reset in Twerp or Clockmar Recovery. I'll also show you that. All right, once that's done, we can go ahead and go back to our Nexus device. All right, next, you'll need to do a factory reset, so um, go ahead and go to recovery mode on your Nexus device using the keys. Hit the power button. And you should have Twerp or Clockmart Recovery uh, since you unlocked the bootloader. Go ahead and do wipe. 
All right, for twerp, do a fact or do a factory reset, uh, four o'clock mark recovery, and go ahead and reboot system, and you should be good to go. Now, if you do see stock recovery for some reason, um, you never install clock uh, mod recovery or a twerp recovery. You can also do a factory reset in stock recovery. There should be a menu for it. Just look for factory reset. And let this sit for five, 10 minutes. Actually, the lollipop is the longest taking uh, machine. And boom shakalaka. You should see the welcome screen. Uh, congratulations, you should be on 5.1. Uh, enjoy your day. And it's still 11.14 p.m., so not midnight. All right, once you have Android 5.1, you'll probably want to root it. So go ahead and download uh, the Super SU 2.37. Go to Android, uh, download AndroidROM.com. And if you go into Tools and go to Super SU, uh, you'll be able to find Android, uh, sorry, Update Super SU 2.37. Go ahead and click on that. All right, next go ahead and scroll down and wait five seconds here. And go ahead and enter the CAPTCHA and download orange juice. That was easy. All right, this will download the latest Super SU 2.37. All right, once that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and power off our phone, reboot into Torp Recovery or Clockmar Recovery, install Super SU, reboot, and you should have full rooted Android 5.1. So let it power off. Again, volume down and power. All for all the Nexus devices. Uh, for Nexus 10, it's volume up, down, and power. Volume down and power. That'll get you into fast boot. Go ahead and use the volume keys. Choose recovery. Hit the power button. The menus might be different, uh, but it should still say recovery. And we're almost done here. Uh, if you're using Quagmire Recovery, choose install from SD card option and go ahead and find the file. If you're using Torp, go ahead and install. I'm going to go ahead and find update Super SU V2.37. Confirm flash. All right, and we're going to go ahead and reboot system, and that will give you full root. All right, once rebooted, go ahead and click on Super SU. And if you don't get any errors, I should be good. Don't forget to follow uh, Chain Fire. And that said, you should have a rooted Android 5.1. That was a long tutorial, but it works for all Nexus devices. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to install Android 5.1 manually on any Nexus device. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And as always, I'll stay on Android. Yeah.